Hello guys and welcome back to another Bitcoin market update. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin seriously and violently. Just a few days ago, Bitcoin was doing really well. All coins were rallying and just like that, things change in a matter of days. Usually most of the technical analysis that you guys see out there is tailored towards the immediate short term. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at Bitcoin starting with the monthly time frame down to the daily and like always guys make sure to watch the entire video because this could potentially be a pivot point for bitcoin and therefore all coins we are right now testing the 20 moving average which is right now at forty thousand two hundred dollars we're now slightly below that basically over the last four months bitcoin has been fighting to stay above this important moving average. Then if we take a look at the MACD on the monthly, we have a MACD bearish cross. Therefore, it makes sense that we're starting to see some selling pressure. Then we also take a look at the RSI itself, and we can see that the RSI has been heading lower. In the meantime, price action has been making higher highs and higher lows. So we pretty much have a bearish divergence, guys. And even though this is a scary time right now, this is also the perfect time for Bitcoin to just bounce and continue moving higher if it wishes to do so. Okay, now we're down to the weekly. As you guys can see, we are below every single moving average, but the 200 moving average, which is all the way down at around $21,000. And just recently, we found rejection at the resistance line of the RSI on the weekly. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the three day chart and let's talk about price targets. So, on the three day chart, guys, we are right now testing this 200 moving average and we have been for pretty much the entire duration of this bear market. Obviously, if we fail to hold above $39,000, we will likely see a correction at least towards this previous low at around $28,000 was the lowest point. Okay, guys, we have a bunch of patterns and a bunch of support and resistance levels. This is obviously going to play out over the immediate short term. Right here in the most recent consolidation pattern, we have what I would consider to be a potential bear flag. On the previous consolidation patterns close to support levels, we had a bull flag. As you can see, we're going up, then we start falling and we have this structure of lower lows and lower highs. This is a bull flag when we are within an uptrend. Here we had another one, but right now this is potentially the opposite of a bull flag because we are in a downtrend pretty much, but instead of consolidating with lower lows and lower highs, we are consolidating with higher highs and higher lows. This could be considered to be a rising wedge or a bear flag, in which case if we are unable to hold above the immediate support levels, which are this red line, also this white line, we would likely come back down to retest this previous low at around $33,000. Now, why $33,000? Well, we are also trading sideways, so to speak. We have been bouncing between $33,000 and just recently, $48,000. So we do have this range of consolidation right here. Then we also have the yellow range of consolidation. This is the lowest point for Bitcoin so far at $28,000 and the highest point at $69,000. So obviously in the immediate short term, if we're able to find support above this red line, then we could potentially just keep moving higher to eventually retest this resistance level at $46,000 and also $48,000. Since this seems to be the more aggressive type of correction, I'm going to take a Fibonacci retracement from the low of $33,000 to the high of forty-eight. dollars And check this out, guys. We are just bouncing off the 61.8 ratio, which is almost $39,000. This aligns pretty well with the support line of this potential bear flag. It would be really nice to see Bitcoin bounce from this level. But if that doesn't hold, then we'll likely come back down to $36,000 and like I just said, potentially 33 
thousand dollars now we're gonna look at the s p 500 this is what i use to track the performance of the united states stock market which is mostly driven by technology companies like tesla apple microsoft google and so on and so what we see here is that the stock market is potentially entering a corrective phase we have gone below the 200 moving average we came back down to retest the 23.6 retracement level and right now we have a potential double top with the s p 500 and if we go below the neckline we could expect price action to go lower and target the next support level which is the 38.2 at 380 dollars now this is important guys because bitcoin has been following the entire stock market for the most part and so what happens is that when the stock market begins to have a correction hedge funds and investors they start shifting towards lower risk assets that being the biggest assets and of course bitcoin is considered to be a higher risk asset therefore high risk assets like bitcoin and low cap stocks they end up taking a beating when we get a correction like this but still, this is too early to tell if the stock market is going to keep crashing or not. Even though this is a potential double top, understand that it could also turn into a double bottom where we move higher. Also, this could be an inverse heads and shoulders, where right now we would be working on the second shoulder to then go above the neckline and move higher. But yeah, guys, it is undeniable that the United States stock market is having a great effect on Bitcoin. Now, if you guys have any questions in general regarding cryptocurrencies, make sure to join our Telegram community in the description below this video. Also, the top comment. There, you can ask questions 24-7. You can ask me any questions as well. And for a limited time, you guys can join for free. Now, like always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to remain updated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.